Welcome back YouTube. If you watched my last video, you knew I was going to make a video right away to talk about the market. The market has went crazy. I'm telling you nuts. If you've been on our stream, by the way, we do stream probably four to five days a week uh, at about eight o'clock Eastern, seven o'clock Central. I will not be streaming tonight, but normally we are streaming around then you would have had an insight a little bit on what we've been doing, right? We have bought a bunch of training, just a ton of training to check things out. Uh, but first things first, we got our Delvin Cook. We know what we're going to do. We're going to quickly power him up. He's the man with the plan. We are putting him on our team. We are going to enjoy some Delvin Cook today. I love it. Can't wait to use him. One of my favorite players in the NFL right now because, quite frankly, he's all we got here in Minnesota. Uh, I mean, I know we got Adam Thielen. I know, I know. But, eh. When you have Kirk Cousins who can't throw the ball to Adam Thielen or the other guy, Justin Jefferson, well, you just hope and pray that we're going to run the ball. You can see he's a 98 speed for us. Yes, I can't wait to use him. I'll be using him later. As soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to get into some head-to-head -head games, probably get my butt kicked. But anyway, let's check the market. First thing we're going to do, we're going to go to newest. We bought a bunch of cards. I We got almost 500K worth of training right now. Almost 500K. So we're going to decide whether or not we're just going to sell the cards outright or spend it on training. Now, there's two different training rerolls. We're going to, yeah, two different training rolls. I should say it's not really rerolls, but yeah, we're going to check it out. So let's check out 91s right now. We were buying them the last few days for under 40K. They're up to now 50K. Wow. Do we take it? Mm, I don't know. We're going to check. We're going to check. We're going to do all the math here in just a second. 89s, we were buying them for 20K. We're up now 25K. As you can see, it's a little bit of profit. Not a lot. Not a lot. But we're going to take, like I said, we're going to check out the math here. We got 95s for under 140K. Wow. 241,000. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That might be a sell. I'll be honest with you. That might be a sell. Let's go check out some other ones. We got 94s for about 115 or less. I don't see any on the market right now for that guy. But let's check Arian Foster. Is there any on for him? 165. So that went up about, you know, 33, 33% also. You can see the market. If you've been investing, you know, you know, you have choices now. You have some choices. And so... Let's check Tony Dorsett. Let's check and see if he went up as much as Kyle Brady. He did not, but that's okay. So now we're going to go back to the 91. We're going to check and see. 91. We bought, like I said, we bought him for 40K or less. So this guy went up about that much. He went up about, it'd be about a 10K profit on him right now. Okay. So we know it's going to take, we're going to need to profit about 65 to 70K in order for these these training options to actually be worth it. If they're not, then we need to sell the cards outright, right? Does that? I, I hope that makes sense. There's some basic math there, but we're going to look at this pack first. Team of the Year Fantasy Pack. We get to pick our own card. 46000 Now, if we bought the training at 6, which we did not, we bought it at 5.5, so we got a little bit cheaper there. But it would cost 276,000 coins to make this pack, right? We're going to times that by 1.1. And we're at 303. So we need to pick a card that's worth 303,000. Now, I've already said I want to make at least 60,000. So I'm looking for cards that are 360,000 or more. If there's none, then we're not going to, obviously, that pack's not worth it. While we're doing simple math, we're going to look at this. I'm going to write down this prices here. All right, for this, team of the year, offense, defense, and specialist, 39K. 39K times six for training that's 234 like i said i bought it for cheaper than that but just in case times that by 1.1 we are looking for 257,000 uh to break even right that's what the break even point would be but like i said i want to make 60 at least 60 to 70k per card i pick so i'm looking at at least 300 uh, at least 320,000 if I, and that's, 
the problem with this is it's random, right? So we're going to look at specialists. We're going to look at offense. We're going to look at defense. So let's take a look. Because which set do you want to do? Or do you want to just sell your cards outright? I mean, that's, you know, these are decisions that it's great that we have. There's also other things that I want to look at too, but we're going to get into that in just a second here. So we're going to quickly go team of the year. And we are going to check up on, let's check first. Let's just check offense. Actually, we're going to go position by position because there's a lot of cards. All right, so first thing we're going to look at is Russell Wilson right there. If we were to pick him directly, we'd be looking at about a 50K profit. Not bad. That's not bad, right? If we were to pull, if we were to pull him randomly, it would be almost 100K profit. Delvin Cook, as you can see here, randomly, it would be about a 60 to 70K profit. But if we were to pick him directly with that 46,000 pack, we'd only be gaining a little bit. Uh, Gunner, he is a team of the year specialist. Right, you see Justin Jefferson right here. Again, that's about a 40K profit if we were to pick him directly. Randomly, we're looking at, you know, 60 or eight, almost 100K. It's about 80 to 90K right there. So I think we've got our answer of what the what the move is. The move is probably random, but let's just keep going here. Fullback, again, this is specialist. Again, that'd be about an 80K profit, and you don't have to spend him for that. He's also got a heavyweight card, guys. So it might not be a bad idea to look at heavyweights or flashbacks. Joey Bosa, you can see 345. You see, either one. It doesn't really matter what we do. Envy, you're the man, bro. We talked about this yesterday. Investing in... Uh, training was definitely a good move was definitely a good move you can see right here I've already got what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the random pack because it looks like it doesn't matter what I get I am good I am good right if you wanted to pick Khalil Mack out of that 46,000 training pack you would profit right now 70,000 coins but if you pulled him randomly it would be a hundred thousand profit I mean, guys, this is, oh my goodness. Everything right here is good. Now, are these cards going to go up? Well, you've seen the training market. You have saw it skyrocket. So I do think cards are going to go up. Look at Xavier Howard, 365. He was literally like two something earlier. Now, I mean, like I'm talking like 15, 20 minutes ago. So I think 100% the move is going to be the random, but you got to buy training cheap. You got to buy training cheap. And so we're going to take a peek here. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do random. We're going to get rid of every single card we got for training. And we are going to rip the random packs. And then we are going to go ahead and sell them. And you're going to see the profit at the end. We spent about 2.4 million coins on training. That is it. That is it. And if my calculations are right, we're going to have close to four and a half million back. Wow. And people wonder, how do you get coin? You get lucky. That's, let's be honest here. We got lucky on this one. We got super lucky. So we're going to get rid of, uh, that's not a training value, but we're going to get rid of some cards. We want our training. We want it now. We want it quick. We want it fast. We're going to keep that just in case. Uh, we want our training. Uh, we want to keep our 85s. They were not training value. Here's where we went nuts and bought our training. You guys were in the stream. This was two days ago that I went and bought, started to buy training. We're going to get rid of those. We are looking for more. We are looking for more. DeAndre Hopkins, we were going to keep just in case. Uh, nah, we're getting rid of him. Let's just get rid of him. Is he training value now? Obviously, all these cards have went up, guys. But even if they went up a ton, it doesn't matter. I know I'm going to make bank on this. I'm not too worried about it. Preston Smith goes into other sets, but we're going to get rid of him anyways. I don't care. And some of you are going to be like, dude, you're not, you're not doing it right. And I'm going to tell you, I don't care because this is what I like to do. I like to take chances. It's fun. Look at these guys. You're gone. You are gone. Daryl Williams yesterday was like 9K. 
And I don't know what he is now. I don't really care. He's gone. Could I have put Tredavious White and Preston Smith into a different set? Yes, I could have. And you would be right. I'm not going to argue that point. Not at all. But I don't care. TJ Watt, we we're going to try to sell. Um, so if you guys got the picture, I don't care. I'm going crazy. And hopefully we can turn this all into a ton. I got 88s, 88s. I don't know what to do with these 88s, so I'm going to keep them just for a second because I don't know what to do with them quite yet. Probably just sell them all right. If you're not selling your cards today or right now with this market is what it is, you need to get rid of them ASAP because the market's only going to stay high for a little bit, right? All right, let's get, look what we got. We have 503 training, 79 items. You look at that. Yes. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm so excited. If you guys aren't excited about making coin, I don't know what to tell you. This That's the best part about this game. If you're playing this game to actually play the game, I'm sorry, bro. But we're going to try to pull. Let's do a few here. How many packs can we open? Let's get our handy-dandy calculator out. 560,000 training divided by 39,000. 14 packs. We can pull 14 packs. Now, I didn't show you the kicker. The kicker was mega expensive. Mega, mega expensive. But we're going to take no risks. We're going to take this. We're just going to go. Let's go with seven here, seven on the offensive end, and see what we get. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to sell all the cards and hopefully have a nice big screenshot for you. Now, I do expect cards to keep going up, guys. So keep this in mind. I'm doing it now. But I expect cards to keep going up for a little while. If they keep going up, if you were to hold these cards, you can make more coin, right? Just keep this in mind. It's, it's up to you if you want to sell now. If you don't want to sell now, I completely understand. But you are taking a little bit of a risk in case cards plumbing a little bit. But you can see right here, I am pulling garbage. Where's my Khalil Mack? Yeah, come on. Come on. Now, we will be trying to buy. We'll be looking at sets. There's a Khalil Mack, finally. We're going to be looking at sets later on. And if I find some good ones, I will definitely be making another video for you guys because we want to profit together. We want to get going. We want to make some coin, right? We are looking. For, come on, give me an Xavier Howard. This is number six. We got this one and one more. Then we'll go to the offensive side. Levante David. All right, so we didn't pull fire. Let's just be honest here. We didn't pull fire, but we bought the training so cheap that we know, we know we good. Right, another Jesse Bates. I don't know. I don't even know who Jesse Bates is. Is that bad? Nah, that's not bad. Here we go. We got seven offensive guys. Let's get them going here. Let's get them going. Brandon Scherf. I always want to call him the sheriff, but, you know, it is what it is. So we're going to keep going here. We got six left. Is this going to make us, are we going to get to four, are we going to get back to 20 million? That's the question. Are we going to get back to 20 million? Are we going to be able to profit over 4 million with tax? With tax included. We got another Quentin Nelson. I don't know if Quentin Nelson's good. I have no idea. I probably should have kept on the defensive end and tried to keep uh, rolling for Quentin Nelson. But Darren Waller, I think that's one's good. I think that one's good. But definitely take a look at sets today. Right, take a look at sets, and I'm not talking just normal sets. What about other sets? Like there is other sets out there. Um, you know, you can look at uh, Russell Wilson, most feared set. You can look at uh, the 86s or the 88s. I mean, 88s team builders for like Dallas Goddard, stuff like that. I mean, look at the tight end stuff. You might be able to manufacture some easy coins doing that stuff. Um, there's we got Steph and Diggs. Yes. Um, that's all of those. So the other sets I wanted to look at today were probably these ones right here. Um, this one in particular, maybe this one. As you know, we bought training for pretty cheap. I don't know if there's a way that we can lose on it, uh, but I haven't done the math, so I'm not going to necessarily pull them yet. I will go ahead and do the math here as I go. But hey, that's the video. I'm going to post a screenshot of all the cards selling. I'm going to keep them on the same page, and we're going to kind of show you at the very end how much coin we got from selling them. And I'm selling them early. I'm not waiting a little bit. I'm selling them right now, right now. But that's the video.
I'll see you guys later.